Hey beautiful people, I'm just checking in to follow up with what I've been up to since I posted the video about quitting my day job and how things are going, what's working and what isn't working. Before you mention it, yes I've changed my hair for like the 5,000th time this year. I'm a crazy person, I can't help it. Okay, so I made some notes about about like I said what's working what's not working some things I'm struggling with what has been working really well has been no pants it's been a whole lot of track pants and uh, sweatpants going on and it's fantastic um, I like that I can set my own times for when I do what when I'm the most productive um, I the Pomodoro technique is something that I'm playing with and I find to be pretty useful and that's uh, where you set a timer for say 20 minutes to do a task. Like if I need to start a painting or do something like that and it feels overwhelming to get going on, you set that timer, I'm just gonna work for 20 minutes and then I'll move on to the next task. And sometimes, oftentimes, once you get going, the 20 minutes is no big deal, but it helps me to get started with some things that are more difficult. So highly recommend the Pomodoro method to help with productivity. Um, I make a lot of lists. Um, I have made a general rule that I don't turn on TV during the day until I'm done working. If for some reason I'm gonna take a break during the day and not just work like morning to afternoon, if I'm gonna work into the evening, so I'm taking a longer break during the day, then maybe I'll watch some like YouTube videos or something. But for the most part, if I need to be in working hours, no TVs are on. Heck, half the time I forget to put on music. It's really bizarre. And being home all day long during working hours, you start to notice weird things where you live. Maybe your neighborhood, for me, my building. There's been a lot of squealing and screaming coming from upstairs today. I think they got a kid. But it's not a kid doing the squealing and screaming. I don't know. And I can hear a toilet flush from inside my studio. <sighs> it is what it is. A part of this experience of trying to work for myself and set my art as a business and making this risk doing this thing is to balance my health and how I can take care of myself too, to do better there. Um, and so making sure to take breaks when I know I need it, when my body tells me I need it, making sure that I'm getting in regular exercise if it's nice out. It's getting pretty nice out in March, surprising for Midwest, but uh, I go for a walk outside for a break. I do have a treadmill, I have some weights, so I'm trying to be more consistent. <sighs> oh my God, I have the coronavirus. Uh, so exercise for sure. And uh, you know, taking the time to learn things, maybe a little bit of something every day, whether it's doing some little like Photoshop action or like uh, watercolor techniques. Um, still pushing my foundation studies with uh, drawing and comp composition. <laughs> I didn't say that word. So those are things that are good, that are working well for me. The things that I'm struggling with, uh, to be completely honest, is focus. And I think I mentioned how I use a Pomodoro technique to help me with productivity, but I do have a hard time focusing on what I should be doing when, how much time to put towards different things, and then just sitting down and doing it once I make that decision. Creating a plan. I have a lot of different directions and ideas to go in. Prioritizing what needs to be when is really important. And that's something I can work on. I did get a planner. I make lists, but I will be working on that. Uh, motivation. There's this weird back and forth between getting anxious about things not happening like overnight. You know, uh, I it's, it's been going on four weeks now that I've been doing this. So just starting, um, had very little set up ahead of time. And so there's like that urgency of I need to create an income immediately. I, I'm not used to not having an income and it, on a level, it gives me incredible anxiety. The flip side of that where it's like, you know, anything takes time, you're working at it, and I've planned for this. Like, it's fine, I'm fine. 
it's still like this underlying stress. It's uh, and it's our culture of hustle and make more and do more. I have to be able to be realistic, to know when I need to take care of myself and to kind of ease into some things. So that's kind of where I'm at. I am making progress artwork wise, even though it never feels like enough. I need to be able to sit with that and be okay with that and just keep moving forward from there. Keep getting better, keep trying things. You always think you're gonna have more time to accomplish so much in the day than you actually do. There's still only so many hours in the day and still only so much that your brain and body can accomplish. <laughs> so that's been an interesting lesson as well. So this is me just starting out, just word vomiting about what's going on in my mind and what I'm dealing with and thinking about. I hope you'll keep following me on my path. I will be checking in from time to time and updating you guys about how it's going, what challenges I'm facing, uh, also, coronavirus going on right now. I went to the grocery store today to get to some like basics and oh my God, y'all are crazy. Just the level of panic that seems to be happening. And it's not like significantly in this area yet, but there's a lot of talk about everything getting shutting down and canceled and I canceled a networking event I'm supposed to be hosting tomorrow just to be safe. I don't want to be responsible for anybody getting sick. <laughs> but yeah, it's a weird time around here. Glad to be working from home. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on what's new. I have another video coming up with another painting, something super nerdy. Another one I'm going to talk about using inspiration. So stay tuned, subscribe, and hit the bell because you don't want to miss this compelling content coming at your way from me. And I will see you next time. Create stuff, stay sane, and take care of yourselves.